We have a vision for Colorado's small airport, a vision we'll realize over the next 20 years and beyond, one that enhances our airport as our community grows. This is the Colorado Springs Airport Master Plan, a guiding document that supports the economic growth of Colorado Springs and the Pikes Peak region, developed with the needs of current and future airport users first and foremost. With more than 1 million annual emplanements now at COS and growing, the master plan's long-term development projects presented in this video build on the airport's capacity to meet current and future projected demand. This plan is designed to ensure safe and orderly development and has incorporated your values and goals as community members through the master planning process. We've identified capital improvements based on the analysis of future demand. Decisions regarding what improvements to build and when will be based on actual need, available funding, and the best interests of the community. The new master plan would allow us to grow to accommodate the increasing traffic we're seeing. Since 2015, we've gone uh, from about 600,000 employments a year. I would project in the next 20 years we will be well over uh, two, two and a half million. Tourism is, you know, a huge part of our economy. We want them to be able to get here from virtually any part in the country or the world conveniently, spend their dollars here. And so both coming and going, it can be a huge economic impact for the region and the city of Colorado Springs in particular. Now let's take a closer look at the master plan. Our view aims to project future needs, and we foresee three implementation phases. Phase one's short-term projects include west side hangar development, taxiway enhancements, runway decoupling, a transformation of existing rental car and short-term parking options, and consolidation of snow removal and maintenance facilities. In phase two, you will see an expansion of the passenger terminal from 12 to 15 gates, construction of additional long-term parking options, business park development, as well as aeronautical development along the east runway. Phase three's long-term projects call for expanding the passenger terminal to 24 gates, doubling the existing number of gates at COS additional parking options, relocating the airport traffic control tower, and potentially extending the west runway. With the expansion comes more operational efficiencies, opportunities for additional aviation and non-aviation business development, and the possibility for more non-stop routes and airlines, meaning more options for our rapidly growing communities. The strong business ties to Peak Innovation Park, plus prominent military connections with Peterson Space Force Base and other key military installations, all represent unique growth opportunities for the Colorado Springs Airport. And incorporating their present and future needs is key to a successful master plan process. Because the airport is an enterprise fund of the city and therefore operates like a business, local taxpayers won't absorb the costs of these planned enhancements. Renovations will not mean higher taxes because the airport doesn't use any property or sales tax revenues from the city. These significant capital improvements aren't cheap with estimated costs of approximately $1.2 billion over the 20 year period. We expect that almost 90% of the project costs will be funded through the Federal Aviation Administration's Airport Improvement Program and available state grant funding. For the master plan itself, we're fortunate to have grant funding from the Federal Aviation Administration. The airport takes no tax dollars from this community whatsoever. One of the things that's unique about the Colorado Springs Airport is that we have an almost 1,500-acre business park we call Peak Innovation Park. And Peak Innovation Park is an opportunity for us to develop facilities that then bring revenue to the airport that help us keep our costs down. Peak Innovation Park 
has grown in measurable ways with the addition of Amazon, with the additional office buildings that we built, Aerospace Corporation, and the new Forest Service Aerial Firefighter Tanker Base. We need to pay attention to our needs, to our facility needs, and make sure we're growing with the community. So in putting the master plan together, we look at our expected traffic, our demand in the 20-year window, and then we identify the facilities that we think we'll need. And I can tell you that we won't build anything at the Colorado Springs Airport that doesn't have a real need and that we don't have actual funding in hand to be able to do. Our job is to serve this community. This master plan was made possible thanks to collaboration among several partners and agencies, most notably the Federal Aviation Administration, Colorado Department of Transportation Aeronautics Division, the City of Colorado Springs, and the Airport Advisory Commission, along with input from the community and support from our master plan consultant, Javiation. We're opening new gateways with this 20-year vision one that ensures that we're ready to meet the growing needs of our communities. While big changes are in store for Colorado's small airport, we'll stay focused on what brings you here in the first place. Convenience, comfort, and friendliness. And we look forward to embarking on new journeys with you over the next 20 years and beyond. Learn more at Colorado Springs Airport Masterplan.com.